Wait, yeah. you want to hear an awful joke? Wait, no, oh. Ray, do, do me a favor. For the audience at home, do you mind repeating that story if that's okay? Oh, it's uh, it's fine. So, I have a coworker. We'll say his name is Joe, all right? Because I don't think he'd like it if his real name was said. His right. name's Billy Bob Joe. <laughs> we'll just say it's Joe. Anyways, okay. Joe goes to an airport because he has to get on a plane to somewhere. I don't remember where the hell he was going. Maybe right. Kansas? Get in a tornado? Go to Oz? I don't know. Anyways, he would like a ventriloquist with mouth shut. Go quack like a duck. One guy in the airport, I would say, who brought their duck? So he gets on the plane later, and every five minutes he continues going, when one time, about an hour into the flight, his friend's sitting at the window seat, looking out the window, not giving a damn. He's like, oh my god, stop quacking already. And, you know, Joe happens to look through the window, um, looking at the wing, you know, and he's like, you know what, I'm gonna quack again. He goes, Wang. and right as he goes, Wang, a bird hits the wing of the plane. So what happens is, <laughs> and he started laughing midway through the quack. So it's like <laughs> the same guy who said, "Who brought their bur- their duck on the plane?" said, "Said who brought their laughing duck on the plane?" <laughs> and honestly, every time I see him at work, every day, he uh, he at least <laughs> once a day goes <laughs> once a day. This was before oh I even God. met him, by the way, but still. Uh, That's so one of my favorite funny. stories he's told me. Yeah. 